Come in. Dr. Frank Kaufner? Uh, what can I do for you, sir? I'm Gustav McPherson. I've come here to ask you a few questions about the White case. Tell me what you want to hear. So, you are investigating the incident at the Hotel Hoffet. Yes, Doctor. Your professional opinion on the murders. Did Inspector Lebrun send you, Mr. McPherson? Yes, more or less. I'm here on behalf of Inspector Lebrun. You are investigating out of personal interest. What, Mr. McPherson, is your interest in this case? A person who wishes to remain anonymous is paying me to investigate. We all have a reputation to protect. Appearances can sometimes be deceptive, Dr. Kaufner. That's why I would like to clarify this situation by gathering as much information as possible. I am at your disposal, Mr. McPherson. How can I help you? What can you tell me about the scene of the crime? The police have released very few details. The man who committed this murder, and I stress the fact that he is a man, is probably quite overwhelmed at the present time. This crime was committed under the influence of a sudden impulse, without premeditation. His act is now haunting him. He is not himself. Is this the evidence found at the scene of the murder that will enable you to draw your conclusions? Sequential repetition of habits. The cure for hysterical behavior is by elimination of the source of anguish. I am just a psychoanalyst, Mr. McPherson. It is the job of the police to draw conclusions, not mine. What do you make of the traces of purple powder found on the bedroom floor? Very little. Probably a drug used by the murderer to ease the pain of his act. All that is symbolic, Mr. McPherson. The murderer himself probably doesn't even know. Like all symbols, it is up to us to interpret them. You are implying that the murderer is a victim too, Dr. Kaufner. We are all victims of the secrets of our soul, Mr. McPherson. This criminal is no exception. We are all victims of our past. And do you have a suspect, Mr. McPherson? If I had a suspect, I would not be here, Dr. Kaufner. It has been a most pleasant conversation, but unfortunately, I cannot afford you more time, Mr. McPherson. I hope I have satisfied your curiosity.